Honestly, I absolutely love this technique. This is completely makeup life-changing. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. Talking about educational beauty, today's video is all about how to create the most amazing blush finish Honestly, guys, this is going to completely change your makeup game. And I can't wait for you guys to learn it because you can just slot it right into your makeup routine without making too much of a difference. And it's just so easy. If you're looking for how to get a seamless blush finish, if you want something which is really easy to do and not too technical, if you struggle with liquid blush, then this is for you. You are going to absolutely love this flawless finish so let's head straight to the video but before i do if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos and don't forget i'm over on instagram too so i'll see you there now let's head straight into the video okay so i have nothing on my skin as always and i'm gonna start off with my dual lip maximizer just a little bit because that can get to work while I'm doing everything else. Okay, my hair, I've just blow dried it and it gets very kind of like, can you see all those flyaways? They're like, well, there's like the little baby hair. It's just a bit crazy. So I'm gonna put on my silk headband just to kind of like get everything out of the way so we can really focus on makeup. This is actually by Slip and it's just, I love it because because I've blow dried my hair, it won't leave any kind of weird kink, if that makes sense. Just push that back so it's out of the way. I'm gonna start off with my Lancer Advanced C Radiance Treatment. I've been using this for about a week now because I had a really good like PR event with, well, it was an online like virtual class with one of the reps from Lancer in the US. And she really kind of, I've always loved Lancer products and she really kind of like went into detail about this specific product that they had sent over, you know, explaining vitamin C and how our skin literally like craves vitamin C. So yeah, I'm using this. This just kind of like in the long run helps with smoothing also helps with kind of brightness and evening out the skin tone so that's the first thing i'm putting on next up i'm using the new wishful eye lift and contour and this comes in it's like a little kind of cool cooling tip and you just press the button and it comes like the button here and it all comes out of the top and like smooth it on it's super cooling because obviously because of the metal tip now i've always put my eye cream on the top as well so you can put your eye cream all the way around really you should put it all the way around and you just kind of like smooth it and this is supposed to really kind of like tighten the area now whatever's left over i'm just going to kind of like smooth it across next i'm going to use my moisturizer it's the wind marrakesh rich moisturizer now i tend to use this when i feel like my skin is a little kind of like dry or tight or I feel like I need extra hydration. Plus, I really did notice a difference when I used it for the first time. Like when I was watching the video back, I was like, oh my God, it really does kind of plump even out the skin. You know, sometimes you use moisturizers which are rich and it says rich and it's just way too rich. Ow. Oh, okay. I think I've broken my little toe. <laughs> day before yesterday. Was it day before yesterday or was it, it was yesterday? I walked into the table. Don't ask how I have a habit of pacing. I pace. I can't stand still. I pace if, I've, if I'm thinking or I've got stuff to do or I'm waiting. I pace. And I walked into the... I didn't have any shoes on. And I walked into the table. And I swear my little toe is broken. It's all bruised on that side of the, <laughs> the foot. And I'd say for about three hours my whole entire foot was on fire. And then it calmed down and now it's just in that little area. But my if I like put pressure on it, it just kills so bad. Anyway, moving on. Next up, I'm gonna use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Just gonna like smooth this over. Keep my makeup in place all day. Going to the mall after, so there's like a three day super sale on and I wanna see if I can go get the Dyson multi, multi styler air up thing. Done. Let's get started with the makeup now. Honestly, I cannot wait to show you this technique because this technique is, it's just gonna completely change the way you apply blush and you'll never have the problem of going OTT with liquid blush. You'll never have a problem of just kind of 
not applying enough. Uh, the biggest issue that it's gonna solve for you is you are never gonna feel like your blush looks detached from the rest of your face and it hasn't blended properly and you're never gonna have the problem of having way too much blush on. First thing is concealer. So I'm gonna apply some concealer onto my eyelids. Let's just prep the face first, right? So actually, let me just get on with this and then when we get to the correct point, we're gonna just start on how you can just do this amazing, completely makeup changing, makeup life changing <laughs> technique. So yeah, let's get on with it. We're gonna fast forward through this. Okay, so we're at the point where I've been really excited to show you this part. So I have actually showed you this in another video, but I didn't really go into detail in terms of like how, it was actually a slightly different technique, but this is something that is just super easy because I think when I showed it before, I showed you in a very different way, which I would say is fine for someone like me or someone who is a pro at makeup, but this is just for anyone. It's amazing. So you know how when it comes to liquid blush, it's like, what if I want a matte finish or what, you know, when, when do I put it on? Do I put it on like on top of my foundation? Do I put it on after my powder? To me, some of these kind of statements may sound like, well, it should be obvious, but that's because I've been doing it for so long. Whereas not everyone would think that. And, you know, with the questions I get on a regular basis, it, it makes me also see how everyone has a different point at which they're at when it comes to the, how comfortable they are with makeup, you know, and how confident they are with where different things go. And not everyone is extremely knowledgeable on textures and how different textures work together. So really, I just want to kind of clear this up for you. And I want you, I want to show you something which I think is just really easy to do. You know, with like liquid blush, sometimes it can be very daunting because you put some on and it's like oh my god there's so much there now now what do i do or oh, have i not gone enough like this is just the easiest way for you to do it now i'm going to take my rare beauty liquid blush right pretty pigmented you can use whatever liquid blush you want but if it's quite pigmented it's better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply this now i'm actually going to apply this in areas that I kind of want that really nice rosy glow. So I want you to completely forget about, okay, what, where am I supposed to place it? Just think about where you would like that really nice kind of like rosy blush finish. Some people put it all the way across the nose. Some people put it quite high for that slightly lifted finish. Some people prefer it here. So I'm not gonna tell you that, okay, you should or shouldn't put it in any specific area. It's really about where you are comfortable and confident with it on. I personally feel like this kind of like higher area up here looks nice, but again, it's down to your personal preference. So that's where I'm gonna apply it. So I'm gonna apply it just along here. So I've already got all my like contouring done, my conceit, which I do with my concealer, by the way. So I've applied it here. Now, before I go to the other side, I'm just gonna kind of like buff this in and you'll see it's pretty pink, right? That on top of foundation would be way too much for me. So I'm gonna keep building it up because I'm gonna go over with something which is just gonna completely transform this. Wow, that's some pretty pink cheeks there. And I don't even mind if this goes up into the under eye a little bit because it actually looks quite nice. So you can see I'm taking it up there a little bit. Okay, some insane blush going on there. I really do hope it's coming out on camera exactly how it looks to me because to me, this is way too much, right? But it's fine because now I know that I can go in with my foundation. This is a form of underpainting, guys. So this is a way that you can kind of like apply it underneath your foundation. And I would not suggest to put concealer on top of this because concealer is really gonna cover it up, but you've got to use a light to medium coverage foundation on top of this. So you remember how I've probably spoken to you in various videos, actually loads of videos, about how underpainting works and how you can contour using your concealers. And then on top of that, you would put a light, preferably light coverage foundation. And then you can see that really nice soft focus effect, very similar process. So what we're doing is we've got this really like hot pink blush on. Choose whatever color you want, but the more pigmented it is, the more brighter it is. And if it looks like this, like crazy how this does right now, then 
all the better because then you're going to get that amazing kind of soft focus blush effect come through. So we're going to move on to the next step. So now I'm going to get my foundation. I'm using the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This foundation is in Barcelona and it's like a kind of light to medium coverage. What I love about it is it is actually a light coverage, but you can build it up to a medium coverage. So I'm going to use this. Now I'm going to buff my foundation into my beauty blender, which is damp. Very small amount, not a lot. We're going to start working on top of the face. So let me just start with the forehead because I like to kind of work in a very uniform way. Okay, so now we're at the cheek area, right? So this is where we're going to apply a foundation and you're going to see how it gives the most stunning soft focus effect because you'll be able to see that blush. I mean, already, look at that. I love this technique. It's just the right amount of blush coming through and you don't have to worry about kind of blending too much. It's just perfect, like, how much it is. Honestly, I absolutely love this technique. This is completely makeup life changing. So I think that this is something you're going to love because if you don't have the patience for blending, if you feel like you just can't seem to get blending, you just can't seem to do it. You've practiced loads, you keep doing it, keep doing it, and you just can't get it seamless or flawless or whatever perfect is in your eyes. And you feel like, you know what, I just need to still have that finish, but I don't have the patience for it. This is it. This is the routine for you. I feel like this is going to make your life so much easier when it comes to makeup. So you're welcome. Next step is how do we set it? What if you want to set it? You don't have to set this if you don't want to, but what if you do want to? Well, then I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to set completely as normal. So I'm using my Ben Eye Banana Powder and I am going to set my under eyes as I always do. So let me just get rid of any creasing there first. Okay, got my powder just doing that as normal if you don't put your powder on like this you don't have to this is you can just put it on as normal so just kind of like do your makeup as in your powder set your face however you normally do you can brush over it or honestly if you don't even want to use powder and you prefer it that way then don't use powder Can you see that really nice subtle blush coming through? I love this. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. And by the way, if you don't apply, if you don't use concealers underneath and you don't contour, that's fine. Just do this. So put your skincare on, then you put your blush on the way that I did, and then you go over with a bit of foundation. But if you wanna put like a very light, fluid foundation something which is maybe a skin tint you can put that on top as well so this works for anyone whatever your style of makeup whatever you do so don't just look at what I do and think oh I'm gonna have to put my makeup on the way that she does or oh my god she maybe uses so much I don't use that much you adjust it according to yourself you don't have to do it in this order although the blush the whole point of this technique is the blush comes before foundation that's the only order that I would I would always say that works with this otherwise it's not going to give you the same result I think that this is for you genuinely I think you're gonna love it just at least try it and then let me know what you think just gonna do a few little bits just to finish off my face because I feel like everything is very sparse so I'll just use it this is actually my lime crime pushy brow pen very good I usually just draw a few hairs in then what I do is I go in with my brow wears which is medium brown and I basically just do the same thing this just kind of like gives it a softer finish so it doesn't look so harsh Put a little bit of lip liner on. That was the Kevin O'Quad Divine lip liner, and I like it because it's just, I don't know what color it is. It's like almost like a mauve nudish color, but it doesn't look obvious. So I just like feather that in. And I and honestly, most of the time I don't put lipstick on, I just leave it like that because it's just more of a fleshy color and I quite like it like that. Yeah, if you want to put kind of bronzer on, you can. That's completely up to you. So I think I might put just a very, very small amount on. Just gonna use my Venti Private Island. See, my hair isn't ruined, that's so good. I usually just tuck this behind, because it just annoys me otherwise. Yeah, so that is my life-changing technique when it comes to makeup. I think that is gonna be such an amazing change for you guys, and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. Try any liquid blush, any liquid blush. You don't have to put concealer on underneath the way that I did, that's just my technique. That's what I like doing, because I like that cover. I like underpainting. If you only wear foundation and you don't really put a lot of concealer on, then just go in with your liquid blush 
and then put foundation over it. If you do use concealer, put your concealer on first and then put your blush and then put your foundation. If you prefer putting your concealer on top of your foundation, then you can still do it, but you know, obviously you don't want to put your concealer over the blush that you've applied. So ultimately it works better with like this technique that I've showed you, but I really do hope that you've enjoyed it and you can see how you can get that amazing flushed blush look, which looks seamless, flawless, and it is super easy for you guys to recreate. I really do hope that you guys start doing this routine because I think it's absolutely amazing and I hope it's really helped you. Now, if you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments box below. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.